Hi, Nancy Burr Priest here, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. Here's my contact information, including the August host code. Here's my Facebook business page, my YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, and watch to the end. So, we are making a very simple card today. So, I'm just going to walk you through. This is going to be one of my super quick videos. Um, I have Garden Green Base, which is five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. I have a very vanilla inside, which I added a scrap of the uh, green and gold specialty DSP um, pattern paper um, to the inside. It's three quarter by four. This piece is also three quarter by four. And these two pieces are two and a half by four. I used a die cut that is from the Stippled Roses, and I used a die cut that is from Unbounded Beauty. So basically, you have your regular card base, and you know how to add the inside. That is easy peasy. But what I did is I took a piece of four by five and a quarter, and I cut this DSP, and you can either use both sides or you can turn one over. I'm not sure which I like best. They both are really neat. Um, but the reason I gave you the four by five and a quarter is so you can just put your paper and line it up. And if your paper's a smidge bigger than the DSP, that's good. That's meant to be, so you can cover it up. And then you're gonna get two, three quarter pieces, one for the inside, one for the outside. You get to decide what you want where. So that part is easy. You're just adhering. Um, I just stamped. This is the Wildly Flowering stamp set, so I needed some thank yous. Garden Green ink. Um, and the last thing I did is these wonderful adhesive um, sparkly gems um, in the catalog. They come in gold, black, and silver. So a very easy card to make with your DSP, but I love that you're constantly can be changing it up. So it doesn't just go for this of green and gold designer series paper, but it can go for lots of different things. I love, as you know, I love the bow punch. Let's say you didn't want, you just wanted the gold, that would be enough. I put a little extra because I'm gonna do this with a class. Um, very simple card, easy. I did use vanilla instead of white because the DSP has vanilla in it and not white. Um, so the vanilla to me just looked better, especially with this piece. Um, I love this. This is an online exclusive, this DSP. It is gorgeous paper. In fact, let me get it out to show you because it is really spectacular. And having that gold foil in there, just makes a huge difference. Um, what are the colors? Remember, always check the colors. Garden Green, Mossy Meadow, Old Olive, Pecan Pie, Very Vanilla, and Gold. And you can see I've used some parts and pieces which you've seen, but let me show you some of the ones you haven't. And this has got gold foil on it. It is gorgeous. Um, this is, I don't know if you can see, gold foil has some bells, so you could do it for a kind of a Christmas theme. Um, but as you can see, I'm using it just for fall. It doesn't have to be Christmas, and that's what I love about this paper. It is just really gorgeous paper that can be used anytime. And a lot of Stampin' Up! paper is like that. So I hope you try this simple card. Basically, you need two pieces of DSP, two and a half by four, can be the same, can be different. You need a little bit, one in the middle, um, three quarter by four, and you've got a gorgeous card to decorate any way you choose. I hope you give it a try. Take care.